Wednesday for the Ghana Professional Boxing League. After today, we're taking a very short break. We'll return on the 17th of June, 2023. And this is one of the fights that is much anticipated. And this is an interesting fight. And this is a super featherweight contest over six rounds. Now officials for this bout. Judge 1, Richard Gatte. Judge 2, Daniel Ablomete. And Judge 3, David Nate. Now switching over to the blue corner. And this is one of the finest boxes who has been discovered in season number one of the Ghana Professional Boxing League. And this is a boxer who is under the management of uh, IMAX Boxing Promotions. He came to the ring with a weight of 130.9 pounds. And this is the boxer with the official record of 14 fights, 8 wins, 5 defeats, 1 draw. Six of the wins came by way of knockout. And this is the man who was in the grand finale fight in season number one against Charles Turchett. And he was the vanquished. He believed that there is more mountains to move. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man who is also known to be called the magic man. Presenting to you, the boxer, John Crossing over to the red corner this evening sported in ash and black outfits with black shoe and red gloves to match and this is also one of the finest boxes from the bronze boxing gymnasium with a weight of 133 pounds and this is the man with the official record of three fights two wins just one defeat presenting to you the boxer Fali. No, no. And the man in charge of this fight is Nikwe Korte. We're seconds away from uh, witnessing right, one you know of the, rules, protect yourself at all the explosive fights. And I say stop, you stop, break, you break. Touch Scheduled for Touch fight night five. Good luck. Felix Nunu representing the Bronx gym. John Kwe representing Yakutuku Academy. Round Two boxers one. who have endeared themselves to uh, boxing fans, boxing plaudits. And it's now an opportunity to have a go at each other. John Kwe in white trunks. Super featherweight contest scheduled for uh, six rounds. Derek Ni Asai Ankara has paid close attention to these two boxes. Knows quite a lot about them. And uh, he'll be sharing a few of those uh, not knowledgeable points and facts with us. John Quay, we saw his uh, flamboyance in uh, season one. Went all the way to the last day, the very final. And when it mattered most, he was clipped by Charles Tete. Nice way there from John Quay to slip away from Danger Zone when he felt that Felix Nuno was coming right at him. Good defense from John Quay there. Quick caution there from our referee. Be wary of the rabbit punches, he says. Quay has shown that he's quite a durable boxer. Oh, that nearly rocked uh, Felix Nunu. That was a left and hook again, from... another of the uh, rabbit punches. A quick caution once again. And both boxers seem to have those hefty punches. Felix Nunu given a couple out. John Quay at the receiving end. Well, it's uh, Felix Nunu now. 
setting up the early instinct of a predator. Give and take a fair. And uh, Carl Loco telling Felix Nunu exactly what to do. I'm sure John Quay is complaining of a head back from uh, his opponent. That's where the referee have to step in. Make sure the catmen do their job on John Quay's eye. And some of the coaches are furious with the referees. Yeah, a coach on the far side you saw a while ago. Was a knee car local who comes quick will win the, the, the fight, the special one, the, the special one. Yeah, <laughs> you won't dare to give us any names. No, seriously, not it, yet. It, it's, it's a close, it's a close, uh, uh, it's close to call, sure. And and we, we need something extra to win this particular uh, 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 fight. You need something extra. Super featherweight contest. This is scheduled for six rounds. We are in round two. Again, both boxers would open up and have a go at each other. Felix Nunu, of course, showing that resilience. Still on his feet, he's battling for it. Referee will call a halt to that. Well, it's a good thing the referee notices that early because it seems Felix Nunu is opening up the cut as the rounds go by. There, the team, uh, the uh, ring doctor had to see to it. Yeah, I'm sure uh, his, corners are, his corner has told him that there is a cut, the right eye of your opponent. Make sure you hit there so the cut will be open. You see, maybe that can weak your opponents so you can go at him. But John Quay is one boxer that at a moment you might think he's going down. Then he just gathered us up with an energy that you don't see coming from him. Two boxers are giving it all again. Look at John Quay. He has start his magic moment. Yeah. That's why he's nicknamed the magic man. Showboating is part of the game. Exactly. And the moment he does that, he's trying to mock at you and tell you that the punches that you are hitting on me is not doing nothing or is doing nothing to me. So you have to do more to beat me. John Quay, the magic man. Well, we saw him in some uh, tougher fights, especially during uh, season one. And we've seen him in action this season already. I think this is the first time that he's actually sustained a cut uh, mm. on his face. He almost always comes out of his fights looking good, looking fresh as he entered the fight. Yeah, uh, it, that is as a result those of... those are some powerful punches coming there from uh, Felix Unu. He is not backing away, Felix. Felix now chasing after John Quay and the corner keeps giving him that uh, impetus to go forward. Yeah, his corner is urging him to move forward because they know that John Quay likes to fight on the back foot. So he keeps moving back. Then the corner of uh, Bronx are also telling their boxer to keep on, keep on with the heat, keep on with the heat. Make sure you cut the ring sizes to your advantage because the key to beat John Quay is to make sure you make the margin so close that he doesn't get the betterment of you. 
That's why the Bronx gym corner is edging on Felix Nunu to do that. But John Quay is also standing toe to toe with Felix Nunu. There goes the clinch again. But both fighters need to be careful of the head back. Very interesting fight from these fighters. Could it agree with you more as we get ready for a round three? This bout is scheduled for six. Six important rounds for these two boxers to justify why they are superior over the other. And there goes Felix Nunu. Felix Nunu went in for the head bat. And that is where John Quay was complaining bitterly because he knew he was going down but he needs to balance himself up and that's where john quay was complaining bitterly to the referee that felix nunu keeps coming in with his head keeps coming in with his head you can see john quay is not happy the way felix nunu is coming in with his head and as a result the head back to his eye props to the cat man there of doing quite a good job to make sure the fighters stay on course because we have a couple of rounds to go and it is going to be John Quay or Felix Nunu interesting matchup interesting bout as the boxers will have a go at each other once again and anytime they have the opportunity to go into the in-house fighting Felix Nunu takes the advantage to keep that cut open good exchanges there couple of shots to the head by both boxers Felix Nunu now fighting hard and at this point the fight is getting heated up and John Quay needs to focus more in the ring because if he gets focused he can get something out of Felix Nunu but Felix Nunu there goes again with that double jab and a left hook again for Felix Nunu John Quay needs to be careful there because 2-3 combination hit clean on his chin and it is Felix Nunu growing confidence in the round John Quay needs to retaliate to see if he can get something out of this round. Else, and Felix Nunu, who's going to win? And John Quay comes in with that two-three combination there. Good defense from John Quay, but there goes the clinch, and the referee have to step in. Word of caution to both fighters. There goes the chest of game, sizing up each other. Left hook to John Quay's face, but John Quay retaliated with a right hook. And the referee paused the fight there. Sure, it has to do with a mouthpiece of Felix Nunu. The heat is on again. Couple of seconds to go for the round three. And it's still Felix Nunu up against John Quay. Felix still chasing on and he gets John Quay up the ropes. But John Quay still manages to get in some punches and slip away from danger zone. Smart boxing from John Quay. But Felix Nunu is also fighting on, making sure to make the fight very difficult for John Quay. And the left hook going for Felix Nunu. John Quay also coming in strong. And both fighters are leaving it all. Felix Nunu and John Quay. The heat is on John Quay still. Pulling his opponent. And this Felix Nunu on the receiving side. And this round, you can see John Quay. It is not just three points at stake in this bout. It is pride. It is prestige. It is uh, reputation. And above all, the bragging rights. Huge punch is landed there by John Quay. John Quay would begin to do those magic 
he will begin to exhibit uh, those traits that have uh, made him earn uh, the enviable name uh, of the magic man of Ghana boxing but uh, Felix Nunu he keeps coming uh, he's uh, never befuddled or bewildered uh, by those antics from John Quay he is intensely focused uh, yeah. of winning this bout and winning it in a massive way. Yeah, he needs to be focused, Felix Nuno, because John Quay has an awkward style of fighting. He does that to intimidate his opponent, thinking that whatever you're doing to him is not really getting. But Felix Nuno is really poised. He's not falling for that tricky moment of John Quay and then they go again the inside game John Quay getting the better man of Felix Nunu Felix Nunu at the receiving side John Quay that's to... why Nunu is dead he is dead Nunu but he still comes back what a warrior he is yeah he still comes back it's due to endurance Felix level Nunu. from Felix Nunu but at this point it is John Quay that needs to rely on the finishing instincts that every time we've been talking about and some gold our boxers they need to get some killer instincts to finish up fights the moment they sense blood yeah man anyway in this fight the both boxes are are poised for the win and therefore even when you have your opponent head head you have to be careful of not expending too much energy which might be costly when the fight goes uh, down the stretch but a hefty right uppercut landed by john quay felix still in there strong resilient resolute huge left across to the face of John Quay it seems like the bleeding on John Quay's face has a halted a bit good work from the corner man and he lands a flurry to the face of uh, Nunu who stumbles uh, Felix Nunu what about he has fought tonight the heat still goes on and it is Felix Nunu from bronze gym fighting up against john quay from the kotoku academy it is the super featherweight contest right here at the buko boxing arena a heavy job and a left cross and counter by felix nunu john lands one on the jaw of nunu but nunu comes back railing 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 and they fight to the end of the they have to give it to him talking about time and punches selection and punch efficiency john quay had it in round four round number five coming up and uh, in the corners of uh, both boxers in uh, felix nuno's corner he trains out of the bronze uh, boxing gym he has uh, experienced the coach lawrence carloco assistant trainer samuel ama in his corner and in the opposite corner you have a uh, coach randy coach uh, Elvis and we have uh, the uh, agent of uh, John Quay, Yusuf uh, Mubarak Nano, a matchmaker. They are all stuck in the corner of John Quay, but fans from both sides roaring, chanting. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, these uh, exchanges uh, in the middle of that ring. John Quay, a warrior by all standards, but the younger Felix Nunu, he is relentless. Uh, he is resolute he is resolute and resilient yeah if you have a couple of big guys behind you talking about john quay's corner the big guys there and felix nunu's corner big guys there you're up for a fight that's why the fight keeps on getting interesting in every round both boxers boxers still have it in them it's round five of the super featherweight contest between John Quay fighting from the Akotoku Academy and Felix Nunu from Bronx Gym. And why it looks like the bleeding from uh, John has resumed and uh, the bleeding uh, is coming in uh, from the top of the right eye and the left eye. Yeah. Even as they go into exchanges, the referee will come in. Okay, a huge job there but missed from uh, Felix Nunu. Yeah, at the moment, uh, the right eye of John Quay, blood trickles down. It kind of have an effect on John Quay's vision, but look at him go again. Swift boxing, smart boxing from John Quay. Hits, and then gets away from danger zone. Felix, and that's a, a left hook. Right to the 
chase of Felix Nuno, but he's still outstanding, he's still resolute. John Kwe seems to have a second winner and he's, he's uh, taking the fight to Felix, uh, who still comes in here and there with some right and left. But you look at the body language of both boxers and the one who looks more confident at this point is uh, John Kwe. He seems to have found his rhythm, but no, no, a heavy puncher. He is still dangerous for every second that this fight lands. Plus, no, and no. they are trading a huge leather in that ring. And why, I guess, you wouldn't want to be in that ring at this point. You know, Sam go this round, and the final is round, as the championship round. You need to give your all. Round six of the super featherweight contest between Felix Nunu from Bronx Gym and John Quay from Akotoku Academy. Great sportsmanship from both fighters before they begin the round. And there goes. So you may know Akotoku Academy on the Ghana Professional Boxing League standings are on the third position with nine points, and Bronx Gym is also occupying the fourth position with nine points. So that tells you why this fight brings out that explosive nature. Both gym have the same point. One occupying the third and one the fourth position. Yeah, the fight still continues. And what was John Quay doing there? Trying as much as possible to intimidate his boxer. But Felix Nunu just smiled. He's not falling for it. And one thing you can be sure of, both boxers have earned each other's respect right there in the ring. Right there in the, back, in the middle of that ring, lives are changed. Respect is earned. My God, John Quay tried to urge on his fans, uh, claiming that uh, he is on top, but uh, we never know what the referees or the judges have on their cards. And that is why he's called the magic man. He knows when and how to bring out the magic instincts from him, John Quay. But Felix Nunu, at this point, he needs to keep chasing John Quay, as he did in the earlier rounds. Yeah, this John. corner needs to urge him to keep on with the chase and make things difficult for John Quay because at this point John Quay is growing in a lot of confidence he's eating up the punches of Felix Nunu and he's not really dazed so it's up to Felix Nunu to keep up the chase hunt him down with a lot of hefty punches to see if he can get something out of him either than that John Quay is still going to fight on and bring out the magic instinct from him we have less than 20 seconds to end the bout. Felix Nunu, he has fought with the heart of a warrior. John Quay has pulled out all the magic he can because he knows very well that tonight he has been in a bout. Felix Nunu, what gallantry, what a heroic exploit from the young chap. And John Quay, comes up with flares from nowhere that is why he's called the magic man and the bell sounds for the end of this epic encounter John the magic man Quay against Felix Nono out ladies and gentlemen now we have the verdicts judge one Richard Garte scored about 55 to 60 judge Two, Daniel Ablomete scored about 59 to 55. Judge three, David Nate scored about 57 to 59. So by a split point decision, presenting to you the winner. Ladies and gentlemen,
the winner, Joe So John Quay, John Quay. Water fights, water fights, and the winner, Charlie Tete. Hey, what am I going to call? Nake, oh, here, fair, egg, but few, tomo, head button. Oh, fight a ton of fight a ton. Oh, but it's a good fighter, it's a good fighter, yeah. Good fighter. John, when I own no more men, I can win a whole fight a tomo open me while meaning to secret it. I bought like a first is the only one to tell you. Or this time, I watch a kid be one or two things they will be no one on the car. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, fancy a new cable car. Oh, manager, I like the faddy. Man, you cable for a mini yomo fio yoka hame. Eh, me that mother for a day she wa leche. In fact, I want the word of a me that mofia moshi. Being your support take a mini and a car no answer. I mean that mofia moshi near Ado. In my job. Hello, you're back on Uber, Che. Eh, Mr. Fadi Fatami. Eh, Mr. Hadi. Mr. Sefas. Mr. Fancy. Or you spot any way. Rabo Dodd. Mr. Fia was in here. Rado. Mr. Anna. Thank you very much. Shall we put hands together for John Quay? So that is exactly what we are all aiming at. John Quay is the winner.